What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be doing the full goddess team without Margaret on global, so um, we don't have Margaret uh, Ludo on global at the moment, so I thought I would run the full goddess race team with uh, Goss Elizabeth, Tarmiel, Sariel, and Ludosiel um, on the team right here, and we're going to be running this team. Um, I'm thinking this team should be fine just because Ta Ludo coming in the back is like, you know, actually kind of scary because the moment like my Goss Elizabeth or my Sariel dies, let's say, uh, I know my Tarmiel is going to stay alive, but like if one of these two die, then, you know, Ludo Seal is going to come out and he's going to apply the defense related down. So I think like in that scenario, it's going to be really good. Sariel is pretty good DPS. Um, Goss Elizabeth is here for the revive, also the stun shield, and then Tarmiel is here for the stance and the ultimate as well. So uh, yeah, man, this team's kind of nutty. I have not tried Goddess Race team at all before so you know we'll have to see if it's good or not um but yeah let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite goddess race from seven deadly sins it can be um basically anyone uh to be honest just let me know let's get my interaction up in the comment section below um but with that out of the way we can actually hop into the video man we're on the road to 20k subscribers by the way subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already let's hop in so sariel tarmiel goddess elizabeth and ludosio so um if you're running the actual team you would probably take out goddess elizabeth and then put the uh ellie hawk the uh, goddess ellie hawk um in the back line right um but that's what you would run on jp on um, global we don't have that unit yet so we have to run this but um we're facing a bond team off the rip Okay, we are gonna LTC just because the Goddess Race team is cracked. Let's see my stats because I know with the Sariel passive, like it's gonna be kind of insane. Yeah, like that is actually beefy. What about my Tarmiel? How much defense does he have? 20k defense off rip, bro. That is kind of crazy. Okay, let's put up the Tarmiel stance like that and we'll do the single target onto uh, Arthur. Because if we kill Arthur like as quick as possible, we can move on and kill the uh, the Bon and the uh, the, the Eskinor there, right? So let's uh, do that. I've not actually used this team at all though, so I'm not too sure if uh, if I make the right plays or not. But I know I have gauge reduction. Um, I have stun to remove the stance. Like low, low key, this team against uh, Purgatory Bond team is actually not that bad. Actually not that bad. Um, let's see what he does. Um, I don't know if he knows how to face the Tarmiel, bro. I don't know. Uh, re recently I've been using Tarmiel by the way, and he is actually like kind of cracked. Um, he's very fun. I will give him that. Okay, so he doesn't even break shield. Damn! Tarmiel stance goes crazy, bro. Holy. Okay, let's do this. We'll merge Goss Elizabeth. I'm gonna do the stun. And then I'll merge... Uh, yeah, we'll merge Tarmiel as well. And we're kind of double alt rush. Let me stun. There we go. Let's get a merge. There we go. We got merge. We got another merge on Sariel. Super nice. We have a uh, all all gauge reduction. We have a Gossel's bit card. Um, now we can take his gauge. He can't stun, so um, I'm not really worried about his ultimate here. Let's see. Okay, that did a lot of damage though. That actually did a lot of damage. Okay, he's gonna go for the kill on Sariel. He gets the kill. Okay. Um, does he follow up? Okay, he doesn't. Okay, that's fine. So what we're gonna do? Um, take his gauge. Um, we'll also do the uh, Goss Elizabeth card and then I guess I'll just move Tarmiel because uh, that's kind of like the only thing we can do here. There we go. And it doesn't really matter. I was just putting up that second card. Hopefully he has no more uh, bond cards. If he has another bond attack card, we're kind of screwed here low key. But um, I think we'll be fine if he doesn't have a bond attack card. Um, like hopefully he just attacks into like my Goss Elizabeth or Tarmiel. But he's going into Goss Elizabeth. He's going to probably get the kill on Goss Elizabeth there. Bop. Okay, what else does he have? Ah, uh, bond card. Oh! Oh! Okay, this is actually kind of perfect. Low key. Um. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do this. Um, let's see if he's 6 out of 6 first. He is 6 out of 6, so that is kind of scary. We'll do this, and then we'll just take his gauge. He didn't put up a stance, so uh, we should be fine here. Yeah, this team has a lot of healing, man. This team actually has a lot of healing. Let's see how, how much Tarmiel does here. This is only 4 to 6. I'm not 6 out of 6 here. But, uh, okay, about half health. Not too bad. Um, and then we'll do that. We take the gauge. If he drops ultimate into my, uh, like, unit here, I don't think he one bangs with Esnor unless he hits Sariel. That's probably the only way. Um, and if he crits, because he has to crit as well. But um, I don't know if he's 6 out of 6 either. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so he's going to ult into Sariel here. Hopefully it doesn't kill. Sariel... 
Ah, oh, no, he de it definitely kills there. Is that six out of six? It is six out of six. Unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll have to give the match to this guy, man. He had six out of six bond and uh, thing. Oh, but we have my Ludo come out. Nah, there's still no way. <laughs> there's still no way. Unfortunate, bro. Okay, that's first match. Um, that bond team, bro. That guy really had uh, max out bond and freaking Essenor, bro. That is crazy. That's crazy. And master, by the way, I'm not even a champion. I'm not even a champion. That's crazy. Okay, next match. Um, I think this team is not too bad, though. I If I got more stance cards at Tarmiel, I think it would have been a lot better, but I just didn't top deck any of those, bro. Maybe I'll move Goss a little bit to the first slot instead of Sario. Um, but kind of rush her ultimate, mainly. But, uh, yeah, there was nothing I could really have done there. Yeah, I could have took the gauge of the Snor, but then the bomb would have wiped me, so... It was just an L from the get-go. But let's see what we got now. We got a... Oh my god. Someone's using this team now. Oh my god. Why am I facing all the toxic teams? What is this? Okay. All we'll do is we'll... I, does it last two turns when you do a rank 2 with a Tarmiel? That's the real question. I don't know if it lasts two turns. Let me see. Uh, so we stand for two turns. Yes, two turn. Let me do that. Nani Koshida! Bop. Okay, there we are. Now we can kind of rush... Uh, we could rush any all really. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter. I think we'll be fine. Um, we could shield up a Goss Elizabeth again to like you know delay it. We can rush the ultimate on Sariel as well. Low key, I could just rush all on Sariel now because he can He definitely cannot dissolve me. He definitely can't. Okay, he's gonna go for the stance. What do we? Okay. Nani Koshida. Yeah, this team is very toxic. I used it a few days ago, by the way, and it was actually just not fair. Um, so, I do respect the plays, but uh, we'll do that. We'll rush my ult. If I get my Sariel ult, I think it's, like, over, to be honest. Like, what is he going to be able to do? And I can remove stance now. Perfect. We can remove stance, and we can do some damage here. I think I could kill his green gilter if I remove the stance of whoever he's using. Um... Chandler, if he puts out the stance, I think uh, Sariel is able to kill Green Gother. He should be able to. With two cards like that, bro, there's no way he doesn't. There's actually no way. Okay, Moodley. Moodley. Okay, well, I guess I'll play it safe, actually. And what I'll do is I'll... We'll stun, and then we'll remove the gauge, and then we'll single target into uh, Gother there. So we get the ultimate. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay, take his gauge. Oh, he merged! That's actually not fair. He merged ultimate, bro. That is not fair. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I hope he's not 6 out of 6. Um, Because if he is 6 out of 6, he might just one bang me. Let's see. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's see. What's he doing? Luckily, he doesn't have like a Tarmiel alt or anything like that. If he alt, if he takes the gauge of my Sariel though, I get Goss Elizabeth alt. So that is like you know like a counter like. Okay, yeah, boom. Yes, sir. We got the Goss Elizabeth alt. Dragon Claw, and then he did that to Goss Elizabeth. Block effect doesn't affect Goss Elizabeth's ultimate though, which is something good to know. I don't think he's six out of six. There's no way. I was about to say, there's no way you kill me with that, bro. There's actually just no way. Okay. Um, yeah, so we got the Goss Elizabeth ultimate. Let me see. Yeah, okay, we could just drop it, bro. We can't drop the other cards, unfortunately, but I think if we do this, we kill the Green Gother, I think. I think we do. Okay, let's see. Dash it, dash it. Bop, see, yeah, so, uh, Chandler card does not affect the, uh, thing, by the way, so there's something very cool to note. Green Gelther dies, that means they don't have their stacks and they do a lot less damage now. We have my ultimate on Sario. At this point, it's a wrap, bro. I dropped the ultimate into Chandler and he's dead. Even if he has the uh, thing up, even if he has the uh, this uh, Tarmiel stance up, I think I still one bang with Sario, bro. Like, Sario 6 out of 6 too? Definitely not living this. I mean, he has gauge reduction too. He could have gauge reduction, yeah. Um, Let us see, let us see. Okay. Nani Koshida! Is gauge reduction? Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Took my gauge. That's fine. What are we? Okay. And then she's going to go for that. I'll do the... Oh, wow. We merged the sun there. Oh, but we can't remove. No. Okay. That's unfortunate. He's unfortunately going to get the ultimate. Um, I guess I'll just move cards. We'll waste this one. 
and then we'll merge that. Because I can't take his uh, gauge. That's not going to do anything. I can't take his gauge, unfortunately. Um, but if he all all into me, then he's going to die from Reflect. Unless he's 6 out of 6, there's no way he's killing me. There's no way. But I think this play is a lot better because then I threaten him with two ultimates. And if he does decide to drop his ultimate with Tarmiel, then, you know, boom. And the block effect was still on me, so I couldn't have removed the uh, stance there. So I had to go for the, uh, the just the ult rush. But um, it was worth it, I think, because uh, I don't think he has a... Uh, yeah, okay, he's going to put up the stance. He's going to die because of this if he drops ult. Yeah, there's no way he lives. If he doesn't kill me, which he doesn't, he's going to die from Reflect. Yep, thank you very much. <laughs> Dragon Claw. Alright, that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll just kill the... Uh, yeah, okay, or that too. He forfeits. That works out as well. You love to see it. Okay, next match. I'm thinking... Okay, wait. Let me try and change it up. I'll put... Uh, I'll put Ludo in the front this time. Actually... I... I want to run Ludo in the front just to make Sariel do more damage. But, uh... I guess we could run this. I'll run this for one match. We'll see, guys. Come on. We can, we can pull this off. If I use this and Sariel gets a merge top deck, I could definitely one-bang someone turn one. Even without the, uh, you know, boost. With the Green Gother boost. Like, I think Sariel, even without it, he's still super cracked. He'll be fine. Let's see. Okay, here we go. We pull up. Oh, I'm facing a Ludo SR team too? Oh, okay, we LCC. Thank the Lord, bro. Bop. There we go. Just like that. And I think we could just kill him turn one, actually, though. Let me see his Esnor if he's ungeared or not. He's geared. Okay, we could kill him, though. Bop, bop. Bop. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. Yup. Get him out. Get him out of my game. Get him out of my game. Get him out of my game. Okay, yeah. So, he just one-banged. This is definitely a bot, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Like, uh, when you run this team. Because this one's, like, hyper-offense goddess race team. Uh, this one's pretty cool. So, uh, I like that I changed that up. If I do the AoE, double AoE, I think I kill both Green Gother and, uh, Thing there. And the, uh, Ludocio. The Ludocio doesn't have gear, so you can obviously see he's a bot. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just double AoE. Double AoE. Um, we'll do this one first. And then we'll do the rank 2. No, no, no. I'll do the rank 2. And then we'll do the AoE with Ludo. Chich. Econs did it. Bop. Oh, wow, that Ludo died, Sag. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, not enough. Oh, if I crit that Green Gulther, bro. You can't crit Green Gulther, though, to be fair. You actually just can't. Um, unless you have, like, a bunch of attack-related buffs. And you have the, you know, the thing. Okay, yeah, as you can see, definitely a bot. Definitely a bot. Okay, let's just finish it off and move on to the next match. That one was quick, but I like this uh, comp. I like this comp, actually, though. I like this comp. It's very cool. It's very, like, hyper offense, like, like the, uh, Eskinor and Sariel team, except, like, this one, like, you lower the defense related and Sariel goes crazy, bro. So, let's try another match and see if it, like, works out, because, uh, this is a cool idea. I like the Goddess Elizabeth in the front line, though, because it makes Tarmiel, like, a beast, because then he's just, like, putting up the stance, he's getting the ultimate. Goddess Elizabeth gets her ultimate as well, you heal, you have Tarmiel heal, like, it is, it is bro. I, I like the team. I like the team. And I think Margaret will make it a lot better. Like, actually, though. Because I was watching Devo and uh, Sora play with Margaret the other day. And, oh my god. Margaret low-key is cracked. Margaret low-key is cracked. Bond team. Let's see. Can I kill, like, one of the enemies turn one off rip? That's the real question. I wonder. Can I kill a Bond off rip? How much HP does he have? Because I'm lowering it with Tarmiel. And I'm doing, uh, I'm lowering his defense related. He still has 380k HP. How much HP does Arthur have? Can I kill Arthur? 310. Okay, I think I can kill Arthur. I think I can kill Arthur here. So we'll do this. If we crit... Oh, okay, definitely not, actually. No crits, man. No crits. Unfortunately, we're not. <laughs> Damn. We can kill him next turn, though, maybe. Let's see. Can we get a merge? Okay, that's not bad. That's not a bad hand, actually. Ah, that team is just so beefy, bro. They have so much HP. It's like, how are you supposed to, like, damage them, bro? Shin Bison, nah. Okay, he's gonna do the AoE. We actually ate that. We actually ate that. Okay, that's gonna do a lot. I... Okay, that did a lot. But it's fine. We can still take his gauge. He doesn't know I have gauge removal. Uh, I don't know what the, the play was. But a bop. And then... How much HP does he have now? With that HP buff? 
Oh my god. Oh, but he only has a remaining 156. Please. Okay. Can we not crit? Sorry, I'll crit. Where are the crits? Oh my god. How does he have defense related down and not get crit, bro? That is actually just not fair. Bond is just a stupid team. You can't, you can't beat it like this, bro. It's just not fair. Okay, let me see. What's he gonna do? If Bob, if he puts up the stance, I lost. I definitely lost if he puts up stance. Yeah, okay, I lost. All right, have that, bro. Yeah, let me get out of the way. That's the problem. I don't think this team fares well against Bond, really. If I use the the Gas Elizabeth team, then like at least at that point, I have the like stuns to like kind of uh, stop that. We'll do one more match, and then I think I'll wrap up the video. But uh, this team is not too bad. Let me move Gas Elizabeth into the front, and we'll run it like this. Actually, maybe Tarmiel first slot. I like Tarmiel. I, I actually, bro, ever since using Tarmiel from the last video, or like two days ago, he's actually fun, bro. I, I think Tarmiel is actually super fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to use him again. But let's see. Come on, can we get a... Can we get another bomb player? I want to see if I can beat one with uh, this Tarmiel team. Tarmiel Goss Race team. Okay, we got a Glue Eater. That's a, this is a good showing, actually, low-key. This is a good showing, actually. Okay, we do get the merge with Tarmiel. Very cool. We could do this, this, and then just move that. We can kind of rush Tarmiel all. Nami Koshida! And then we put up the shield. There we are. Let's see what he does now. Oh, and we got another. Oh my gosh. Yo, we got another Tarmiel stand. It's a bot. Unfortunate. But we'll be able to see if uh, Tarmiel can wipe a goddess, uh, goddess Elizabeth, Green Gilter, and Esther team. Um, let's see. Uh, when Margaret comes out, this team is going to be so much better just because of what she does for the Goddess Race team. Like, if you guys don't know, Margaret makes it so that you, like, every time you use a buff card, you just get, like, increased Goddess Race stats or whatever. It's kind of cracked. And then, like, her grace itself as well is, like, if the enemy gets buffed, you're, like, doing so much more. And, like, it is just so good, bro. Let me stun the Escanor, I guess. Actually, no, Goddess Elizabeth. Hopefully that kills. I mean, I'm, I have Goddess buff. Uh, bop, 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 bop. There we go. I have Tarmiel Ultimate now. Um, let's see. What can he do? I mean, he could try and dissolve me, but it's not really going to work. He's going to go for the rank up. Does he one bang my Tarmiel? No, he's going to go for the uh, the uh, Sariel there. Doesn't kill Sariel. Okay, yep. That's fine with me. I full heal when I do this anyway. So we do this. Actually, no, wait. Let me do this. We full heal. We do this and this and then that should be fine we take his gauge and we do a lot of damage too so parmiel bop look at that half his health that's crazy okay let's see the aoe he did it okay perfect and both the enemies are low now like on a hp like if i just drop another sorry aoe Escanor and goss a little bit die e easily unless he drops like a, unless he drops like a shield then he blocks it but uh But yeah, let's let's see, let's see. Um I'm gonna go for the rank up. He's gonna go for the rank two on Tarmiel. Do we tank that? I okay, we tank that. He loves to see it. Okay, um That is kind of like uh I let me do Nah, I'm gonna double single target AoE. I wanna make sure I kill the Escanor. Play it safe. There we go. And AoE should kill Green Gother, right? Oh yeah, he killed Goss Elizabeth at the very least, so even if he has Green Gother Ultimate, um, I don't think he's going to be able to kill me with it, unless he's 6 out of 6. There's no way. Let's see, bro. Let's see. Green Gother Ultimate. Applies Dissolve. Wow, this is a very smart bot. I'm telling you guys, I've been facing only like big brain bots recently. It's actually kind of crazy. Okay, Applied Revive though. Wow, okay. That Green Gother is kind of beefy, bro. Low key. But uh, it is over though, unfortunately for him. Because um, we do this, we do this, and we do this. And that should actually just kill him. Yeah, I was going to say, if it didn't kill him, then that would have been uh, very annoying. Nani Kashida! Yeah, there we go, Bop. And then next turn with Sariel uh, fighting the uh, Lost Vein. There's actually just no way he lives, bro. I'm sorry. Um, goodbye, Mr. Lost Vein Meliodas. Here we go. We're going to do this. If I do this, this, and and the AoE, he dies. There's no way he lives. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that, man. Sorry, yo. 
He's built different. Okay. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, make sure to comment down below your favorite goddess race character from Seven Deadly Sins. I'm going to make sure to check out all the comments in the comment section below. But yeah, if, uh, appreciate you all coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.